Guys, my fiance put me on a timer. He says I've got 30 seconds to choose my book and I'm very, very stressed out. Wish me luck. welcome back or welcome to my channel so in today's video I don't actually know what I'm gonna be filming I think it's gonna be like some sort of bookish vlog I'm not sure we'll just go with the flow I, re I really have no idea we'll see where this video takes us oh so good so I am currently reading six of crows by Leigh Bardugo Bardugo yes I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book, especially the sequel to A Crooked Kingdom. I'm currently 104 pages into the book. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. It definitely took some brain power. Like, I don't know if I'm just a little bit dumb. <laughs> the first like 60 or so pages was a bit of world building. And because it's set like in this fantasy world with like magic powers and different city names and different currency and just like like it's a completely made up world and there's a lot of characters in this book and I was really really having to focus on all the characters and the dynamics between the characters and the town names and the currency names and just all of the things going on in this book it definitely took a bit of brain power but now that I am past the world building stage it is getting so good and that's the thing with fantasy is you always have to get through like 50 to 100 pages where usually it's a bit slower, it's world building, some information dumping. You just need to be persistent and stick it out because once you get past that part, oh, everything just gets so good and it's starting to get so, so, so fantastic. I really love the main character, Kaz. Yes, Kaz Brecker. He's just so cool. He's so smart and I really like to be like inside of his head. On the back of it, it says Ocean's Eleven set in a Game of Thrones-esque world. So it says there's six dangerous outcasts, one impossible heist. Together, they might just be unstoppable if they don't kill each other first. So yeah, it's sort of like six convicts, six sort of misfits, all working together to achieve this heist. And I'm only just getting into the part where they're sort of gathering all six people together to make this team. And I'm really, really, really enjoying it. The writing is fantastic. I'm very curious about her other book, um, Hellbent. I think it's like a dark academia book. If you've read that, please let me know. Hey guys, we're just at the mall now. Don't mind my hair. I've been in the car like this. <laughs> Honestly, if you need some volume for your bangs, get one of these Velcro rollers. They are amazing. I feel like I'm in the 90s when I wear them. I love wearing them. And honestly, slay. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna buy some work clothes today and I most likely will pop into a bookshop because I have issues and I can't control myself. It's physically impossible for me to walk past a bookshop and not go in. If I see something I like, I might buy it. We'll see. put me on a timer he says I've got 30 seconds to choose my book and I'm very very stressed out wish me luck <laughs> Good morning guys, I just woke up, I'm getting ready for work and hopefully I've got some time to do reading before I go to work. I'm now on page 131 
and it's getting so good. They've just formed like the sort of group of the six people and it's getting super interesting. Oh my God, okay, first of all, <laughs> let me just take my hair out of these socks. I did like the sock curl thing. Hopefully it looks good. I love doing this. It's just so good if you're lazy, but you still want your hair to look nice. Sorry that I just filmed myself at the bookshop yesterday and then I just didn't film myself for the rest of the evening. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but I'll try to do some more filming today and tomorrow and the weekend. Hey besties, I just got home from work and I really thought I was gonna have time to read this morning, you know, sit down, drink my cup of coffee, read, no. Um, I had to be called into the office like a little bit earlier, so no time to read, but I just got home. It is 5 p.m. Oh, big day. Also, how cute is my dress? Da. Can you see? I bought it yesterday because I needed some like work dresses you know what i mean like some office dresses what do we think cute very cute right <laughs> i'm gonna go put on some comfy clothes and read my book because all day at work i was getting that feeling where i was like oh i can't wait to go home and read my book and see what's gonna happen and that is a mwah, fantastic feeling that's the feeling that you want when you're reading a book and i have it so let's do that Okay, so we are in our comfy clothes. I just put on some gym gear. I think I'm gonna listen to like a Six of Crows playlist. Ooh, this is why I love Spotify. Like there is a playlist for every single book. Someone out there has made a playlist and I, mwah, I love them. Thank you so much. I just found one called, ooh, ah, oh, the picture, everything about this, it looks so good. It's called While Reading Six of Crows by Zoya. Can you see the picture? It's giving like dark academia. Ooh. guys I just got home from work and I'm just gonna do some reading I haven't done much reading since I last talked to you guys I'm on page 160 I think because I keep reading like before bedtime I keep falling asleep and I'm really really enjoying what's happening I'm just like oh I can't wait for it to be the weekend it's currently Thursday and I just need it to be Saturday and Sunday so I have time to read like work is so so busy right now it's not normally this busy but we've done like an office move and it's just so so busy and i just don't have the energy or time to read and it makes me so sad because like we're already a week into february and i haven't yet finished a book <sighs> why so i'm just gonna sit down do some reading i'm on chapter 12 
Hey guys, I just got out of the shower. It is it is 9.25 p.m. So I think I'm just gonna make myself a cup of tea and do some reading. I just wanna read like at least 100 pages tonight. Like I just wanna get into this book. And I feel like because I've been sort of like on and off reading it over the past couple of days, I haven't like dedicated a good chunk to reading this. It's not allowing me to like properly get into the story, which is really, really bothering me. I just feel like when I'm reading it, I'm not properly in it. And I feel like this is a book that everyone really, really loves. And you just have to sort of like, I don't know, really immerse yourself in the world. And I haven't been doing that. <sighs> Mad at myself. So yeah, let's go make some tea and get some reading done. I actually don't have a kettle so I put water in here and then I have to put it in the microwave for like a minute or two. Saturday. Ooh, my camera's not focusing. I'm just gonna go get coffee with my mom. My dog is gonna come with us. Oh, look how cute! <laughs> hey guys, happy Saturday. So I didn't get a chance to record anything yesterday. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is so messy and I'm so sorry, but hope you are enjoying it. I just got home from hanging out with my mom. We got eggs, we got coffee. We had like a really nice breakfast out and about. I just got my nails done. I got like a little purple, pastel purple kind of color. They're pretty cute. She cut them a little bit too short for my liking, but I do really like them. I think they're super cute. I am gonna have my lunch now. I'm gonna have breakfast for lunch. I actually have overnight oats in the fridge, which I was gonna eat this morning, but then I ended up getting breakfast out with my mom. So I'm gonna have my oats for lunch, which is really fun. Da, da. I've had too much to drink tonight and I know it's sad, but this is what I think about when I wake up in the middle of the night. It's like I can feel time working. Da, 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 da. Everything at 18. Nothing twisted. Right. Slay. We've got our overnight oats in a little mason jar. I've got some blueberries, raspberries, peanut butter, and some coconut shreds. Honestly, such a nice and easy little meal. Really filling carbs, fiber, we love it. Oh, there's also protein powder in here, so protein too. Fun. So I'm gonna assemble this and eat and do some more reading. What was I gonna say? Oh, I'm really, really, really starting to like love Six of Crows. Like I was already really enjoying it, but now I'm like at the point where I really care for the characters. I really love the characters. I love Nina. Nina is my, is my girl. I really, really love her character. I'm just, yeah, I'm really falling in love with the characters and I feel like that's always the best part of a book. Like I always liked them in the beginning, but now I'm at the point where I really care for them. I'm scared one of them is gonna die. I don't know, I don't know. And also this is a non-spoiler vlog, so I will not let you know anything. I just realized that I'm putting oat milk in oats. It seems wrong.
right, she is almost ready. But I'm just gonna make it a little bit sweeter. I'm gonna add some honey. Doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Mwah. Guys, I am loving this book. It really reminds me of one of my favorite movies ever, which is Now You See Me 1 and Now You See Me 2. It's that movie where four magicians pull off some heists and robberies and just like really fun things like that. I love movies or books with like really good deception. It's so fun to see like the planning of it and then like when they actually pull it off, it's so satisfying. I'm really, really enjoying it. <laughs> Easy come and easy go You're an unfading star A gentle love, the kind that lifts you out No matter how far Hey guys, it is, sorry if you can hear the TV, it is 2.53 p.m. Sunday and I'm still in my pajamas. I've spent the whole morning and early afternoon just laying on my couch, reading my book. I had a little nap and it's been so wonderful. I love a lazy Sunday. I'm almost finished, Six of Crows and oh my God, it is so good like the last 200 pages like the first half of the book i was really 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 enjoying but the second half of the book i have no words i have no words it is incredible like <laughs> you have to read it if you haven't yet read this please put it on your list oh my god the writing the characters the found family just like how clever they all are and their little tricks and stuff and the heist that they're pulling off like i can't and they're all very like morally gray and i love that about them like they're not perfect characters oh my god so good i'm up to where am i up to i'm up to part six i only have about like 60 pages to go um, i want to go to the gym later so i think i'm gonna make myself a second cup of coffee finish this and then go to the gym and then while i'm at the gym i'm just gonna pretend that i'm one of the inner six and that i'm like training for this heist it helps me oh, it's so good
I've just finished it. I have no words. I actually finished it 20 minutes ago and I sort of just like sat holding it like this, just staring at the wall. Five stars. Easy five stars. The first half of the book, I was like, mm, I think a four star, like that's just the way I was feeling. I wasn't getting the five star feelings yet. The second half, the last 200 pages, like I, I have no words. It was some of the most insane plot holes heist. The characters just grew on me. The found family, like I am not okay. These characters have my heart. I think I'm gonna love them the same way that I love the characters from A Court of Thorns and Roses and Throne of Glass. I love the characters from Throne of Glass more, like those are my favorite characters, but I think these characters are gonna crawl into my heart and just take up that space. I... <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I need to read the second one immediately. That was insane, honest to God. And also, I started searching and I was on TikTok looking at Six of Crows TikToks because that's how I know when I love a book because I need to go look at like the fan art immediately after. Luckily, I didn't spoil myself anything from Crooked Kingdom. That would have been really, really sad if I did, but I didn't. Um, and so tell me something. I'm watching the Shadow and Bone like trailer. So the characters from this book are in Shadow and Bone. Are they just not like the main characters in it, but they're still in this? Because when I was looking at the cast, wait, where is it? I was looking at the cast. We've got Inej, what the hell? And then if I scroll, we have Kaz. Are the characters from Six of Crows in this show? Because I'm gonna watch it if that's the case. I need to see Kaz and Inej. I can't. They nearly brought tears to my eyes, like Inej nearly brought tears to my eyes. I am obsessed with her. I love her so much. The friendship between Nina and Inej is just, Inej, Inej, I'm not sure, is beautiful. I absolutely love Kaz, like his story and his upbringing and what's happened to him and just how street smart and clever he is. Just how all the characters are so different. They all have different like nationalities and different ethnic backgrounds and different stories and different strengths and weaknesses and when they come together it's just perfect that was so good that was insane oh my god i'm so happy i've read this i can't believe how long it took me to read this book right i'm gonna go get the second one immediately oh my god that was so good <laughs> oh guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it I need to just sit down and like stare at the wall for another 10 minutes just to sort of compose my thoughts and just the ending. I have no words. This is again a spoiler free vlog so I can't say anything but all right guys thank you so much for watching my video. I feel like it was really really messy and all over the place so I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!